Hello, and welcome back again to another Leon Lush video. Uh, today I'm going to happily waste, hopefully, at least 10 minutes of your time so I can put some extra ads on this video. But if we don't get quite that long because the content's not strong enough, then, well, <clears throat> I'm just going to have to deal with that. You've probably seen on YouTube lately, and I don't know if I'm late to this trend or not, but it's recently started to get to me, uh, all these popular... YouTubers with millions of subscribers mailing themselves in a box, making this videos with the same exact title and thumbnail called I Mailed Myself in a Box, and it worked. Probably real, 100% real, gone wrong, all that fucking clickbait garbage that makes me want to fuck a cat in the face and piss... It's not, I get it, I get why they do it, but I, but I still am going to criticize it because it's fucking stupid. Stupid. So if you search on YouTube, I mailed myself in a box and it worked, you get like 38,000 results or something absolutely uh, depraving. Uh, might not have been the right usage of that word right there. But I took, I chose four popular YouTubers you've probably heard of. And I'm just going to kind of quickly touch uh, on how they executed this um, challenge. And, and maybe just kind of try and give them some pointers, maybe how they could do it a little better. And then at that point, I'm going to go ahead and up the fucking ante. I'm going to take this stupid fucking challenge genre to the next level. And what I'm going to do, well, I'm not going to say, you probably saw the title and the thumbnail of this video. So you have an idea what I'm going to do. And don't fucking get it twisted, you fucking little bitch. Don't get it twisted. This is real as it gets. I am going to, I am about to drop fucking bombs on the fucking challenge genre it's gonna get real so on today's episode of why did you make this pile of shit video featuring four youtubers we have in the number one spot sss sniper wolf your favorite female streamer that does not have an annoying voice yes she does number two another female youtuber named azzy land better known as quibble cop's girlfriend that's way too hot for him but he's rich as fuck Coming in at number three, we have your favorite Asian bully, the man, the myth, the legend with the purple hair and the sideways vagina, Rice Gum. And finally at number four, your favorite brain-dead fucking moron who's been out of the headlines for a few months, but continues to somehow build a channel on sheer stupidity, your boy Stomedy. Let's not waste any time, Nigel. Roll that motherfucking clip. Why would you pay so much money to get on an airplane or ride a train or something? Why don't you just mail yourself? In high school, I didn't have a car. I didn't have anywhere to get anywhere to meet my online friends. So, like, I always wanted an easy way to travel like this. And now that people are actually doing it and it's... It's working. Why would I just drive to my friend's house? Lives across town. Has a nice flat. Really love it. Why would I drive there when I can shit myself there? It's so much cheaper. You don't have to pay for gas. I mean, the gas is on UPS, obviously. All I have to do is find a package in a lake and pay a little bit for shipping and handling. It makes perfect sense. Shut the fuck up, you fucking idiot. Now, before I go on, if you haven't seen these videos, what you'll notice is that there's kind of a formula. They all use, they follow the same fucking plan. They start off by explaining why it's a good idea, and they've heard that people have successfully done this. They move on to uh, finding the correct box. Uh, then they grab some snacks because they're going to have to spend so long in this box while being shipped. Maybe a little, uh, some, some liquids of some sort. And there's always a little bit of concern that, well, if I'm in there for so long, I don't want to drink too much because I'm going to have to pee and then they'll pee into a bottle and they fucking then they then they go on to basically the rest of the video is them spending an eternity in this box with a fucking camera and just making a bunch of gay noises and it's it's literally it, honestly I would rather you watch two female ox ox oxen eating each other out that joke didn't go as planned listen I fucking I wrote this is the extent of the notes I took for this video I wrote down a formula explain it Grab some snacks, find a box, spend eternity in a box. That So everything else is off the cuff. That's the only thing I wrote down. Uh, let's give... So, she explains it. What's up, guys? Today I'm super excited to do something that's never been done before. She finds a box. First thing I need is a box. Let's go see if I have a big box in my garage. All right, so this is my box that I will be traveling in. Grabs a couple snacks. I think I'll pack a tangerine or two. These are really good. Woo! Then she spends the rest of the video doing fucking stupid shit in the box. I can't take this anymore. 
At this point, if you're watching this and you don't know this is obviously fake, you're brain dead. But I think we're at the point where we assume that we know and it's kind of just a meme at this point. And I, this is where I got to say I don't have a huge problem with it because it's not like they're pulling a Joey salads and fucking making black people look like thugs. They're just doing some innocent bullshit for views because they're popular YouTubers and they know people are going to click on it for... I don't, why do people watch this shit? I can't... Bye, guys. Be careful. We're in right now. I just made myself comfy. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I don't want to talk too much, but I'm in the UPS store right now. And just like that, quick cut, and we're in the box. Now, I got to give them credit. They, at least they made an effort and, like, filmed the sausage walking with the box towards a packaging store. Most of these fucking clowns just fucking cut from climbing in the box in their house and then they magically are in the box in the back of a UPS truck somewhere. Why do we have to... Why? Why are we making these? What is... Oh, I know why. I know. That's right. It's it's for the views. It's for the easy fucking bullshit views. And you know what? I can't even get mad at it. They're making fucking cheese. They're making some some rice cakes. Some fucking Benjamin stacks off this garbage. And, uh, I mean, fuck, if I had three and a half million, I'd probably make something this gay, too, so... So, who knows? Oh, my God, this tastes so good. You guys have no idea how good this tastes right now. And that is it. This is the rest of the video. Her eating peanut butter jelly sandwiches and saying stupid shit in a box. Uh, it's over ten minutes long, so she can rake in that fucking ad revenue, and we're on to the next one. As he land, here we come. It's way cheaper than a plane ticket, so I definitely want to try it out. Okay. Since I'm going to be in this box for a very long time, I definitely want to bring some water with me. I don't think this is a good idea. Why? I don't know how long I'm going to be in that box for. Uh, how is this going to work? <laughs> I don't And you'll notice the exact same formula. Explain. Grab some snacks, find a box, and then spend eternity in a box and... Rake in the cash. Is that a Triceratops? And a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Hitler? What? Oh my god, oh my god, there's a goddamn war going on in there. Okay, I gotta take a step back off the soapbox for this one, okay? I gotta give Azzyland credit, because she memed the fuck out of this video. Instead of making it sound like she was riding around in the UPS truck, she had Hitler speeches playing and lightsabers and gunshots going off, so she clearly is conveying that she's doing this as a joke. Admirable, because most of the other people that do this actually try to play it off like they're actually shipping themselves somewhere. Fuck them. So for Quebble Cop's girlfriend, give it just a... Slow clap. Just a slow clap. Okay, next up, we're gonna look at Rice Gum's version of this scripted cesspool. Here we go. Is there a way I can travel where it's a little bit cheaper? Well, that's about all the rice gum I can take for one video. So moving on to our last contestant, the Miracle Man, who can actually stay alive without a brain, Stomity. What's up, guys? My name is Stomity. I think somebody zoomed this in. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't know who was messing with my camera. So, I tried to mail myself to Santa Claus' house, and then this mailed me to China, okay? Now, I know Clown's done a bit on this gentleman in the past, so I'm not going to beat it to death, but holy <laughs> fuck. Oh, is this guy fucking stupid? This new cross mail, so in case they decide to ship me somewhere else, um, I have this, you know, so I it wouldn't smell too bad, right? Who is watching this fucking fool? So you'll notice this trailblazer of a content creator didn't even bother making it look like he was in a box. He's just in a dark room in front of what looks to be a white wall. Uh, I mean, I, who's surprised? He obviously doesn't give a fuck about, well, anything at all. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just noticing, honestly, as I'm watching this, and uh, I noticed the title of his video, it is the trifecta of clickbait. Stomedy knows no boundaries when it comes to his clickbait and just is had like a merging of three. He has the I mailed myself in a box, which is the big trend, to a killer clown gone wrong, which was another huge trend uh, sh a few months ago. We all fucking remember those killer clowns. And then in parentheses, mail truck crash with a picture uh, of, a, of a crash mail truck. This is fucking the fucking Mona Lisa of clickbait. Stomedy has taken the crown. 
What's going on with this truck? What the fuck was that? What the heck? So just like that, with incredible camera work and excellent use of sound effects, Stomany himself has convinced us that he was in a box on the back of a U-Haul truck that crashed. Bravo. Fuck you. Fuck this challenge. Fuck this genre. Fuck Azzyland. Fuck Rice Gum. Fuck Sniper Wolf. Fuck Stomany. Fuck anybody that's ever done I mailed myself in a box and it worked video. I hope you fucking contract a cold so it's a minor inconvenience. I don't want you to die. I just hope it's a long cold and I hope it also gives you AIDS. Yeah, he said I can't. It's an ex kind of an expensive mic. I'm not going to actually drop it. it. Wasn't even the whole cold to AIDS thing. Not the greatest joke, anyways. Definitely like a six out of ten as far as jokes go. That's it, guys. We're caught up now on the uh, how to ship yourself in a box challenge. 100% real. And I know I was a little tough on the contestants today, but it's tough love. You know, I I really I understand the the YouTube business model uh, that YouTube has in place, and these guys are just showing up to work. They're making dog shit. Uh, that's going to get the views and it's going to pay the bills and who can be angry for someone just showing up to work to uh, to pay the bills, really, even if it's fucking retarded. But what I want to do now is the thing that really uh, that gets to me, it's not that they're making clickbaity fake videos. It's that if you're going to do a challenge, at least have a fucking sack, have a little bit of gall, do something edgy, something revolutionary, something that changes the fucking game. And that's why I'm here today. I'm taking challenges to the next level. I'm making hopscotch look like World War I right now. I don't, that, that analogy, I don't know what that means, but you get the point. This fucking challenge, uh, I'm trying to set a new trend and seeing if, seeing if I can get some views in the meantime with the clickbait and if people start to follow it and it turns into something. I mean, this is the real deal. If I'm the first one to do it and everyone else starts doing it, <laughs> that's fucking views and subs for Leon Lush, man. And I don't know if you know me, but I would like that. I would like those things. So I'm going to take the matters into my own hands here. Uh, I don't think I would really fit into a box anyway, so that challenge is out of the question. So instead, I'm just going to cut off my dick, and I'm going to ship that in a box. Not that that's going to fit in a box either, am I right? No, but seriously, this is the, uh, this is the cut off your dick and ship it in a box challenge. I have a recipient in mind, um, but first I got to... I gotta at least get rid of the, I gotta at least get rid, you know what I'm saying, I gotta cut it off first, so let Listen, I'm not necessarily proud of this challenge, but in order to be successful on YouTube, you really need to be a trailblazer uh, in your content creation, and I mean, why, why copy everyone else when you can do something that's gonna raise the motherfucking bar? You should probably close the blinds, am I right? So it's been several hours now. Um, I've been able to recover a little bit. Uh, first, when I when I did it, I immediately regretted it. But now, I had my wife inject some Novocaine into the stump, which has helped the swelling and the pain. Um, and I'm finally starting to be able to kind of feel like there's an upside to this. Uh, it's yet to show itself, but uh, there's there's not really any turning back at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and ship it. I decided why not kind of two birds with one stone. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and mail this in a box for the challenge, but I'm also gonna send it as an early Christmas present to a good friend of mine named Aaron. You may know him as Bionic Pig. Uh, makes a couple of shit videos for the internet. Uh, I think he's gonna appreciate it. You know, I, I, this will be the first year I've, I'm really gonna go out of my way to do something special. So I hope he, uh, I really hope he knows that like all my heart and my soul went into this present for him, so. It's worth a shot. My God, is it fucking cold out. I hope this is worth it, seriously. You know, me and Aaron have started to get to know each other pretty well these past couple months, and I just really wanted to do just like an unthinkable act of kindness to try and take our relationship to the next level. Because I admire, I admire his talent, you know, he's a musician. 
uh, like I am, so it's it's fun to connect. And I thought, what better way than to give him the most sacred part of myself uh, as an early Christmas gift? I just the idea when I you know originally I was just doing this for for like the meme, you know, for the video, the whole like kind of parodying, satiring, sat satirizing, satirizing the uh, I shit myself in a box video, but I kind of had this idea at the end and it's just it's so exciting to think that this could really kind of create that bond that uh, that makes it so we can never, never separate ever again. It's, <laughs> I don't know what he's going to think, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot, so. <laughs> Ooh, it is fucking cold out here. So I guess it's up to FedEx now. Handle gently, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, Leona, I just wanted to let you know that I am so thankful for the gift that you got me. The early Christmas present. It, it's just the best thing I've ever gotten in my life. I mean, I've used it plenty of times. I mean, it's kind of hard to use. At this point, it's just basically a quivering ball of flesh since, you know, it it doesn't have any blood flowing through it, so it's not like it could get hard. But I find a, I find methods. I find ways to use it. Here, let me let me just let me pull it out real quick. Get out of it. This right here, yeah, I'll blur it out. Don't worry. But this right here, it I mean, it's you know, it's not really it looks like a dick anymore. It's just kind of like a ball of flesh. But but I want to thank you for this. I find ways to use this in ways that you don't you really don't want to know. But uh, yeah. Th thank you for this. Thank you for this. Now, now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shit. Sit. Oh. oh. All right, guys. First off, thank you for watching this whole video. I know it was long, but I hope it was worth it. Secondly, please go down to the description and click on Bionic Pig's link over to his YouTube channel and subscribe to him. He is one of the more creative YouTubers I know that is underappreciated like so many people that actually create good content. Lastly, if you could just do me the solid, for those of you that still have a dick left, if you could just get real close to that like button and go ahead and fuck that like button right in the mouth. I need those social interactions, baby. I need YouTube to know that this video is getting some love so they can show it in the recommended. Definitely not gonna happen, but one can dream. I appreciate y'all, and do me that favor and just keep on watching my shit, and then if I can, I'll, 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 I'll suck a dick, fuck you.